Welcome back everyone. Okay. So we're at the crime scene. Excuse me, officer. This is a crime scene, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to please step back unless you have official business here. Badge. Shut the badge! Yeah! No, the, blue, the people in blue don't like that. Excuse me, ma'am, this is a crime scene? Special Agent Reed, this is Special Agent McCoy, FBI. We're on official business. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. You can go in, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> you must be new. You're far too polite. Officer Jonathan Duffer. Yes, I just recently graduated from the academy. It's an honor to serve the city. Ah, fresh blood. Doesn't that make you all warm and tingly inside? No, but I'm sure this crime scene will. Oh, and the, okay. I was wondering if they had dialogue options. What exactly happened in there? I hear they found a body hanging. Murder, apparently. I don't know much else. Like I said, I just started the force, so they have me standing guard. You're gonna have to talk to your people inside. I don't know why the FBI was called in. You're not the only one wondering. Thank you, officer. Who found the body? A bum found the body, but uh, he didn't see anything. Who interrogated him? I heard it was Director Davies herself. Uh, you work for her, don't you? Must be quite an honor. She's something, all right. Any other witnesses? Nobody heard or saw anything from what I've heard. Ain't this a lucky day. Thank you, officer. No problem, agent, and I'm sorry again. Never apologize for doing your job, kiddo. Yes, sir. Can I talk to you? So why are we taking this case again, John? It looks like regular police work to me. Beats me. Davies requested it. To the level. If I was a police officer or investigator, any one of those, and I have like those crime scene don't cross kind of barrier thingies, I'll actually do the limbo. In. Really? Yeah. Me and might be wasting time, but I'll put some smile on some. I'll let John face. socialize. I'll go do some work. The hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> Was she talking out loud? We better get inside before Davy skins us both alive. Hey, the Scarlet Furies are playing. I can't miss that. <laughs> she wanna go hard. Read. Why are you so late? It wasn't it like two o'clock in the morning. Why is it looking so bright? Finally, you get your ass down. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. Look around and then come talk to me. And John, please wipe your mouth. I can smell that egg sandwich all the way over here. Hey, it's a good sandwich, ain't it? What do you say, Galaga? Oh, sure, if you want to drop dead from a heart attack. <laughs> hey man, I'll back you up. They don't know what they're missing. I may have to lower the graphics a little bit. Fights, I find moving kind of choppy. Okay. So I'll do that to the next video and see how it looks. Snap, snap. I wonder if the photographer is the crime Boy, scene nasty. after like mm, paper. Brutal. Suicide? Agent, if it was suicide, I wouldn't be here at 2.30 in the morning. Some people don't have any sense of humor around here. I left it in my bed when I got Davies' call. Dead people, if you put them like on Instagram, it took to get like a billion likes. 
Nein, keine Ahnung, was du hast. Oh, das ist nackt, gleich. Galaga? Reed. What do we have here? White male, mid 40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging. No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English. Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. <laughs> uh, any signs of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. Well, excuse me. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes, maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. He also defecated. It's another sign well. of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davies pinned it on my sandwich. <sighs> Lovely as ever, John. What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. And bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. When did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. Oh, Sarah, cat lady. Uh, I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. Let's talk to you. Hey, buddy. How's it going? The Erica herself. I'm trying to finish quickly so I can go get some freaking sleep. I'm a tech geek. I shouldn't be doing all this crap. Where's your team? Uh, there's a lot of shit hitting the department right now, so we're low on manpower. How's it hanging, McCoy? Weird to see the FBI all over this. I don't make the rules, pal. Have you gotten any prints? Nothing. It's super clean. This person knew what they were doing. Been searching around, but I can't even find a partial. How can the guy who did this struggle so much and not leave any traces behind? The guy knows his shit. Well, that's what. <laughs> any luck identifying our John Doe? Nope. Nothing in the database? Uh, I wish it was that simple. Didn't you look at the body? What about it? Oh, get this. The problem is not that the guy isn't in the database. The problem is that the killer cut the skin off the fingers of our John Doe. All I've been able to find is just blood markings everywhere. Thank you, asshole, for making my life easier. DNA? I'll have to take a look at that tomorrow. So any theories on how the guy was hanged? There are a few marks on the body. They aren't from a struggle with a killer, per se, but my theory is that whoever did this had a hell of a time stringing that big guy up. Drag marks? Exactly. 
It wasn't easy getting him up there. So we're looking at someone smaller than the victim. Probably an average build? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hang in there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Davies. Not now, Reed. Go do your job. Bitch. See anything interesting? We better. You know, Davies is gonna grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. Okay, time to go cognition. Ooh, the paint. The paint is glowing. I don't know that. I don't know. Slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Okay, so there's uh thingy underneath here. You think the team knows what's going on, Ata? Uh Hey John. Any idea what this is? I know John knows. No clue. Ask Terrence. Hey, Terrence. Yo, E. Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is it evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence? Really, I, I, I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. Yeah. Reed? McCoy? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. We better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. Uh... Okay. There are too many people here. I'll look at it later. All right. Good 
Let's save up. Anything else I could use the magic of my hands? No? Okay. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Oh now, God. what have you found? So, so How did the victim I die? I swear, if it was me, I would have cut her. Suffocation. Who was our John Doe? The first one. We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? Killer was smaller than the victim. Killer struggled with the hanging of the victim. The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim, which leads us to believe that the killer is smaller and skinnier than the victim. That's it? That's it. I may point out, however, that Terence is being overworked, so he's not exactly at the top of his game. When I have questions about how to run my branch, I'll ask you. Anything to add, McCoy? No. Wonderful. Again, not only are you too late, you're also worthless. Go get some sleep and get your asses to work tomorrow early. I want to see you in my office as soon as you're in, Reed. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Why are we taking this case? Tomorrow. Now get out of here. I know, she looks like she have a penis. Erica. Sir? How are you holding up? Wait, what? I'll be fine. Good. So wait, wait, wait. Get some rest. I have a bad feeling about this one. It's a woman. Yeah. Why is she calling her son? They're supposed to say that. It's more you respectful called? apparently. Erica, I know how much you care about what happened to Scott, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you off the case. Don't do this to me, Davies. I have to. It's been three years. This is bullshit! I'm so close to getting somewhere! No, Erica, you're not. I've seen your reports. You're going in circles. My dad put you up to this? Brian's worried about you. Listen, I understand how much this means to you, but it has to stop. I put my job on the line, letting you take on a case in which you're so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your dad. But it's time to move on, Erica. Even your dad agrees. I can't. You have to, Erica. I'm afraid that's an order. I have to screw up your face, so. What the hell? Uh, Are you all right? I just need a minute. Uh, what the hell just happened? I. What? No. Was that was a flashback or something? Or did she like see into the future or something? I think that was a... I think she seen into the future. Oh, and she, she's going to die. Ugh. They're getting worse. What is? My vision. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. You still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. 
I'll go tomorrow. Go now! She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. That sounds perfectly normal. Go on. I'll hit your ride to the office. I think it was a flashback. Oh. Yeah, it was a flashback. Okay. Haha, <laughs> he came back to this murder scene. Hey, I have a confession to make. What? I, I, I murdered someone. Right. I pulled the brakes off his bike. Okay, actually, this is a good place to cut off. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you all in the next the video. Next you want you want to say good night, Darkside? Good night. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>